Hi everybody. Welcome back to episode 5 of the pellet sorting series. In this episode we're going to go over lubing pellets. Now I would recommend uh, going on the forums and figuring out just which lube you want to use. Some guys use straight lube. Uh, today I'll be using FP10. Uh, some guys blend. They, they'll use say FP10 blended with something else. Uh, I've heard Slick 50, um, Slick, Slick 50 one lube. Uh, I get mentioned a lot, so that's an option. But you know, go out there, research it a little bit, and see what might what you think might work well for your rifle. Uh, as well, you can also find stuff that isn't working. So lubing pellets is pretty easy. Uh, all you need is a empty tin of pellets, obviously some pellets, and your lube of choice. Gloves are optional. I would recommend before you even get started, uh, label your tin so you know that this tin has lubrication on the foam. So just open it up and we need our foams. I'm just going to do one at a time and I'm going to add a bunch of drops to the foam and mash it around. Now the nice thing about wearing these uh, medical gloves is you can just wipe it on the back and see if you're getting enough, enough lube. You just want a nice thin film to come off the foam. I'm going to add a few more drops. Mash around some more. So how do you know when to stop? Well, take your foam that you just put a bunch of lube on, and if you squeeze it, you should just see it change color. Okay? Like, it's if you squeeze this and it's dripping uh, uh, lubricant all over the place, you've got too much on there. And you also want to play around with this. If you find that you're putting your pellets in here and um, they're just coming out drenched in, in lubricant. Get some fresh foam, start over again, you got too much on there. Um, and on the other hand, if you see no difference, or, you're, or um, you, just, you just don't feel like you're getting that lubrication on there, put a little more on. And you will have to recharge this every once in a while. You lube a bunch of pellets, put a few drops on, and so on and so forth. So now that you've got your foam all um, lubed up, there's two ways to do this. First way, grab a bunch of pellets in there. You want a, a layer of pellets, a loose, single layer of pellets. I stretched out my foam, so i got to flip it over. Okay, you want a nice, loose layer of pellets like that. Put the lid on, and not shake them around, but roll them around. You want those pellets to roll, and as they roll on the foam, they're just picking up a very, very thin layer of lube. That's it. Just roll them around for a little while. Pop the top off, and you may or may not be able to notice. You should see a little, a little shine from like a bright light. You should see, just see a little shine of uh, reflection off of that. You can also do it this way if you want which kind of makes the top obsolete. But let's say you went through the process of inspection, way, roll, I mean, head size, all that stuff, and you're nervous about these pellets banging into the side and into one another. Same process, just use your lid and take your foam out, and now just gently, gently just roll them around. Okay, that's going to stop that smashing into one another and that impact. It may add some lube in places that you uh, didn't necessarily intend for it to be added to, like that gap inside the you know the head and the skirt. It's going to get in there, but it shouldn't affect anything. And this is a, a way to gently put this uh, lubrication right on the edge of the head 
and right on the edge of the skirt. That's the part that's interacting with the barrel. So that's the part that you really want to, uh, to put the lube on. Guys, that's really all there is to pellet lubing. Um, it's pretty simple. It may increase the accuracy of your rifle. So I would recommend giving it a try with all of your rifles and, uh, you know, see if it makes a difference. If it does, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. As always, thanks for watching and happy shooting. <laughs>